Hello everybody, it's Pause Ranger, and welcome to my top 5 favourite War Thunder tanks. These are my favourite tanks, and I hope you will like them. And here's the question, what's your favourite War Thunder tanks? Please leave a comment down below, and it's a bit of a different video, but I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's get to my number 5. So, as you're probably thinking, what is it? So, at number 5, is the Panzer... Well, obviously one of the Panzer tanks, Panzer III. If I can see it correctly, uh, yes it is. Now, why I like the Panzer III is that, look at it, it looks pretty badass. I've played this Panzer tank, got a few odd kills, but it's more of pestering your enemies and I like to pee off players by just shoot them out of random. The armor is pretty interesting as the different panzers you unlock in the tree, they have extra armor, usually smaller, the crew is usually different. You basically get better versions of the panzer and this is one of them as it looks cool, it's pretty interesting and there's some points that it'd be hard to kill your crew. And there's certain spots that you'd be instant killed but the panzer's there. So who's next? The T-34. The reason I like the T-34 is I love playing as the Russians. Their tanks are badass and hard to kill. At the start, their tanks are just pretty much shit as hell, as most of them usually one-shot kill to your sudden death. But once you unlock these bad boys, oh boy, you can dish out a whole trouble of hell for the enemy. They wouldn't expect anything from you. The armor is pretty decent, but it's because of the slope that the armor has, it makes it incredibly hard for your tank to be killed. If you can play it right, you can probably survive about 3 or 4 shots, depending on what they are. But this tank is pretty wicked in the history of the Russians. Oh boy, I just love their tanks. Got a few kills, none the wiser. With that said, I love the Russians. So the next tank is one of my other favorites, another Russian. This bad boy here, the KV-1, I've gotten tons of tons of kills with this tank, no joke. I usually obliterate a huge group of team and the armor of this tank is just insane. You become a very hard target to kill. You're hoping most of the enemy won't be smart enough to use very powerful shells but you become so hard that you're more of taking less likely to die if you play it right. If you want to be a hard ass and not die so much, upgrade your crew's vitality and they'll survive more of an onslaught and a beating and take more of an abuse. But this tank's more of armor and power, so go get it and go nuts. So what's worse than that? Well, the derp tank. I usually get 3 or 4 kills, usually 9 or 6. Between 9 and 3 kills I get with a derp tank. I will say this, you become a big ass target for the enemy team to kill you because you're just a one shot target that you'll just kill anyone. I've been killed by these things before, I get pissed off, but when I kill somebody else it's funny as hell. The reload sucks ass, but more on vitality and reload speed. You dig me? And uh, be wary of your head tank because you can just die just like that. So what's at number one? Well number one is a premium tank, a Panzer V if I've said that correctly. I love this tank. I usually get around about six or three kills with this tank depending on my mood or depending if the match is good and depending if the enemy is a bit thick. But this tank is pretty cool and I like it and yes it's a premium and you know what, it's my list if I want a premium tank I will. The armor is pretty interesting, a lot of light blue and more of, yes it's a medium tank but at least it could take some abuse. But the problem is it can die too quick, so you have to play smart and try and take into more cover and less of, I don't know, standing out in the open like I usually do sometimes. But with that said, thanks for watching everyone, and if you're interested to put yours 
in the comments, go ahead. Hope you liked the video, more will to come. Thank you very much and goodbye.